Hi, this is Tony over here at Big Dogs Porting, and today on the flow bench we have um, a Downs Box GT40 small block Ford setup. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with the Downs Box, and um, some call it the Bread Box. And for a long time, you know, guys have been running this manifold with boosted applications and higher RPM applications. And one of the things that we try to do here at Big Dogs Porting is show you guys, you know, the truth. Show you guys um, some facts based off of our experiences um, with these parts and aftermarket parts. So we're getting ready to flow this um, manifold in its, its stock configuration. So we have it strapped to the flow bench and um, getting ready to flow it. Add some tape to the ports. So we don't have any, any seeps. And um, we're gonna see what this particular manifold can do in the stock configuration before porting. We're running three of our motors. This is the number five runner. Got to see. Number five runner. Everything is locked off. Except for the number five runner and the throttle body opener. And we have 205, 206 CFM right here. So that's the number five runner, which is one of the most restricted runners on this particular style of manifold, the GT40 style. So we're gonna pause it and strap on the number eight runner. Back at you with the Downs Box GT40 flow testing, stock configuration. Right now we're getting ready to flow the number eight runner. to see what it does. We're at about 239, 238 CFM on the number eight runner. Down box, GT40 stock configuration. This is before testing. This is the before testing, and um, we're gonna go ahead and, and work our magic. This is receiving our stage two. So we're gonna work our magic um, and definitely get those numbers up to par. Um, this is one of the reasons why small block Ford 302 and stroker motors when you're running these particular manifolds. This is one of the reasons why they tend to fall short on power. Um, a lot of guys run these manifolds in stock configuration or mildly ported. Um, a lot of porters, they blindly port these manifolds and they don't go back and do the flow testing to verify their results they pretty much do an industry standard and that yields industry standard results. Um, Big Dog Sporting, we, we don't do that. We tend to give you a lot more than industry standards. Um, and this is why a lot of our customers are making the kind of power they're making with our parts. So we're gonna go ahead and um, port this up stage two and come back with um, flow testing to verify our results. See you guys at the track. 